Hey guys, it's Aaron. Uh, so last week I gave some tips and tricks about uh, using match photo inside of a room. So some ways you got to cross the, the blue and the green lines, uh, that sort of stuff. So today I want to take a look at a different workflow. So this is, we're going, ba we're going back outside. I know it's cold out there, it's February, but uh, looking at using uh, match photo with multiple photos for a single model. So in this case, I have a, a couple photos of a simple structure, and we're just going to take a look at aligning the photos on the front and the back for two two main reasons. I mean, one for for modeling to get the the modeling geometry set up, but also to to push those photo uh, materials, the, the the textures onto the geometry we create. So let's take a look. Two reference photos. One photo match model. Okay, so uh, brand new model here. You see, I do have the photo match window up. I do recommend if you're going to do this, you just open this ahead of time. It's a little easier. If you don't have it, it will pop up. It's not already open, but uh, it is important because this button right here, done, is how you tell it you're finished aligning an image. So with that, let's go ahead and go to file, and I'm going to go to import, and uh, let's see here. I took these two photos. Um, they are very simple. You'll see. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and import it. I do want to make sure I have use as new match photo down here at the bottom. I'm going to hit import and it's going to pull that image in. So this is a super simple structure. I basically wanted a box because, you know, we only have a few minutes here to, to do this. Um, so let's go ahead and get this lined up. So perfect. This is the direct, this is how you should take a photo for match photo looking at the corner. This corner is coming at me. The two sides are fading away. This is perfect. This is what it should look like. So I'm going to take this first piece. I'm going to align it. Red, red line on one side at the top. Green line on the top of the other side. And what I'm looking for is, you know, basically a spot of contrast that I can follow that line. So this, this, this wall, the top of this, I don't know, roof against the blue of the sky is perfect. Down here at the bottom, so you want to go as far down as you can to get the next line, but uh, ground's not always a good line because it's not often straight. So you can see here with the snow too adds to it. I got kind of a bumpy line here. So I'm going to take this line here. This this concrete slab meets the wall right here. So not as high a contrast, but I think I can align this green line pretty well like that. And then do the same thing with the red line. Bring this over here. Um, slide that up on my way. All right, so something like that. And then, of course, I'll take my blue uh, axes by the corner, stick it right there. All right, that looks pretty good. In fact, that looks, that looks great because that's probably about Sumele's height against that. If I wanted to, I could slide the axis a little bit to get it a little closer. Um, assuming this is all good, I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. Now I need to do some quick modeling. So generally speaking, when I do something like this, I will go click to a plane. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my right arrow key to lock onto the red plane and I'll pull up a rectangle that is the body, not the roof, just the, the main part of that building and push pull that through to get that rectangle. All right. So now, real quick tip, I want to push pull a new surface up to create the roof. But obviously, as soon as I go like this and grab it to push pull it, um, I'm not looking at my photo match anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the modifier key and hit option. I'm going to click once and now I'm dragging that. And while I'm dragging that, so I've released it, click and release. And then I'm going to hit this to come back here and it'll put me in this view. And now I can just go, okay, pull that up to where that's supposed to go. And then I will use that to pull that edge out and that edge out. Actually to make it to match it, let's say I want to make it the same. I'll pull one side out like this, and then I'll double click here to pull it out the same amount. And by pulling it out, matching the perspective, I had found out this is a little bit too tall. So I can do the same thing, click and release right here, back up to this photo. And now I can pull this down to where it's supposed to be. All right, quick, easy. I'm going to grab one, two, three, four sides, right click. I'm going to say project photo. Uh, it's going to come up and ask me, do you want to, what about hidden faces? So what this is saying is if this photo was pushed directly in this direction, it wouldn't, Sumele would block half of it. I'd end up with a, basically a shadow of Sumele. So if you want to trim, I'm going to go ahead and hit no. And then that will give me 
awesome. So that's a few seconds work on that side. Now I'm gonna come over here to this side and I have a second match photo that I won't put on the back. Before I actually click match photo, before I do anything like that, I'm going to move my axis. So I'm gonna to go to tools, I'm gonna to choose axes, and I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna leave in the same orientation, leave green and red where they are, so I'm gonna click here once, click here twice, and it puts the axis on this corner. This is important because when I come up here, file, import, and I grab that second image, I want this corner right here-ish. Right about there, it's hard to, again, there's that snow in the way, but um, right about like that. If that corner was still on the back side, I have a much harder time moving my model around so it lined up correctly. Once I've got that on there though, the rest of this process is pretty much the same. You'll see, you'll get to see your model like contort and convert and all kinds of fun shapes as you do this, but you're gonna go ahead and get the green and red axes on the lines. I'm gonna use the exact same geometries on the back side, like this, and like that, all right. And then the last step here is going to be to slide. I can actually move this over a little bit because see, I can see as I moved everything around, I manipulated where that front corner is. I, I can't, actually can't tell. I think the corner is right here. I got this little, little seam right here that looks like the corner, but it's not. It's tricking me. So I'm going to slide that down till it about lines up. Okay, so, so here's something that might happen to you. These lines down here are pretty faint. I don't know that I lined them up real well. Uh, 3D mouse users beware. Don't click your 3D mouse. Don't try to orbit in 3D because even though you're just trying to zoom, you might bump it off axis. And obviously if you bump off axis at all, it throws out your photo match and lets you just move stuff in SketchUp. Scrolling, however, if I scroll my middle mouse button, my, my, the, my middle wheel, I can actually hop right in here and see. There we go. Get that little... A little closer, same thing over here. There we go. Yeah, let's see, pull that up like that. Um, so scrolling with the middle mouse button or with, with that wheel is not going to affect or get rid of your photo match. Orbiting will, so I don't want to orbit, but all right, so we go like that, a little closer, and now maybe do another one of these. And uh, there we go. So. That's where I can, I can start playing around with that. Now, do be conscious that this is not, it is not perfect. I'll just point that out right now. Uh, vanishing points are a little bit different. Uh, cameras a lot of times adjust things as you're taking photos. So I might have a little bit of manipulation, that kind of thing. Um, I can probably come over here. Oops. And... Pull this out, pull this out, and then I can again grab these, project photos, and now if I go to look at this in 3D and see that I have, and I did not, I, I did rush a little bit of this stuff, but um, you can kind of see, there we go, I have all four sides, I know half these are in the dark, we have built-in shadows created already. Um, one last tip, if I do have things like this where it didn't quite line up, you can, these, this is just a texture now. So I can select here, I can say texture position, and then I can actually come in here. We'll switch fix pins and I'll just scale it up a little bit. There we go. And now it's, it fills and I don't have that blue gap right there. Same thing here, texture, position, and then I can just do a quick Bump up, there we go. So uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So the big thing to remember if you go in and do those two pictures is what well, one is your pictures have to be decent. So mine weren't perfect, but they were taken from the right angle. Obviously there was some severe shadow on one half of the building, but uh, you got the idea. So it was, it was, I was able to go to those different sides, take the pictures, fairly good reference image for that. Um, the other thing is that 
the biggest tip that you want with that is move your axes between photo match. So once it's in there, it doesn't matter. So I can jump back right now. I can jump back to my original, original photo match or the second, and it doesn't matter anymore where, where that, the, uh, the cursor or the axis in is it's saved in the scene. So I don't have to worry about that. But before you place that second photo, make sure you set that axis on a point that you can see in the photo, especially ideally that front corner, like we had there. If you do that, it's really, it's really pretty easy to align multiple images. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos every single week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. We make most, if not all of our videos nowadays based on comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.